Hello once again. In the previous tutorial, we have seen how to retrieve all the emails from the Gmail by using retrieve emails from the inbox. Now, in this tutorial, I want to show you how to retrieve 100 emails and after that, I want to filter the 100 emails from the particular email ID. How can I go ahead and do that? Let's double click on the retrieve emails over here. Let's expand the email filters once again. Now, if you see in the inbox, I have given as a mail folder. And after that, well, if you see over here, retrieve, I'm having all the emails I have retrieved by using all emails messages. But right now, I want to read only 100 emails messages only from my Gmail. Let's select the option over here, 100 email messages only. And then I'm not making any action over here, mark as red. What will happen once you mark it as red as true, whatever the 100 emails is there, it will be turn them as red mails in the Gmail. All right, now I'm not going to make it right away right now. Now let's save it, click on save. And after that, I want to know the subject over here. Because of, if you see in the previous session, I have given as current item dot two. What will happen? It, whatever the mail has been sent to me, all the mails have been retrieved. The two is the two is my email ID, right? Learning Technologies 2020 at the rate of gmail.com. Now to make you understand right now what I will do, I will make a small change over here. Like I will see from which email ID I have received the mails. Uh, along with that, I want to see the subject also. Now I want to make a small change over here in the display message over here. Now. Message to display over here. First, the thing is that from which email ID that have received, right? I'm going to take the properties from the current item dot from. And after that, what I'm going to do along with that, I'm going to give comma over here. Along with that, I want to see the subject also from the current item. You can see there is one more property there, subject. Select that. Over here, what it will be displaying in the display message from which email ID that you received the particular 100 email and after that you will get to know the subject also by using current item dot subject. All right, let's click on save. Now let's run the flow to see the output. To make you understand what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep the flow on my left hand side and the Gmail, I'm going to keep it on the right hand side so that you will get to know all the 100 mails are going to be retrieving or not by using retrieve email action. Now, if you see, the first thing is that from the PDF, if you see over here on my right hand side, I got the mail from the learning technologies that is basha.amir86 and you can see the subject over here, PDF automation. This is my first 100 email in the ascending order. All right, let's click on OK. And the same thing will be continuous over here. All right, click on OK. Now, if you see, almost all the mails have been retrieved over here. And you can see the uh, Twilo mails. And after the congratulations on sending critical security alert. And finally, that we got critical security alert also over here multiple times, two times. And final message from the Microsoft Outlook, that is test message has been sent successfully. That is what I have retrieved from the Microsoft Outlook. All right, let's click on OK. Now, I want to work with the filters. Let me show you once again my email IDs. Now, if you see over here in my 100 emails, I'm having a lot of email IDs over here, a lot of mails over here. Now, I want to filter which has been received from the particular email ID. Let us assume I want to retrieve only the mails which has been retrieved from the support at the rate of github.com from the 100 emails. How can I filter my mails out there by using retrieve emails action? Now, the filters will be applied in the retrieve emails directly. Now, let's expand the email filters over here. In inbox mail folder, I want to retrieve 100 emails. Along with that, from field contains, 
what is the field that should contains that I'm having support at the rate of github.com. I want to filter the emails and I want to display only that particular emails. I'm having two or three mails over here only. All right. Now I'm going to use this filter options over here, email filters over here, and then I'm going to click on save. Now what will happen based on the support at the rate of github.com email ID that whatever retrieved mails will be stored over here in the retrieve emails flow variable and then it will be displayed by using current item. All right. Now we'll see the output, how it will work. Let's run the flow. Flow execution started. And if you see over here, now let me double click on the retrieve emails over here. I'm having four or five mails from the support at the rate of github.com, which are already in the state of unread emails, right? Now I got all these mails. Let's click on OK. If you see, all the mails have been retrieved from the support at the rate of github.com by using the filter options. In the same way, if we want to work with different options over here, like email filters, over here, you can give it two options, subject contents, body contents. Now, I will show you one more email filter over here. What is that email filter? Now, let us assume if I'm having any attachments or documents in the particular email, I want to save the documents. So how can I go ahead and save the documents automatically when I'm going to read the emails? Okay, so what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to retrieve all the email messages and after that, I'm going to save attachments option that I'm going to make it as save attachments. So what will happen over here, once you click on the save attachments, where you want to save the attachments? All the documents which have been retrieved in the retrieved emails, I want to store somewhere, right? Now let me select the folder option over here. On my desktop, I have created attachments folder. Okay, let me show you that. On my desktop, I'm having attachments. In that attachments, I have empty folder. I don't have any emails or attachments over here. Now I'm going to select that folder attachments and then click on OK. Now what will happen if I'm having any attachments in the particular email that all the attachments will be stored in the particular folder that is with the name of attachments over here. All right. Now let me click on save. Over here, I'm going to disable the action display message over here because of it will take a lot of time while I'm going to run it. All right. Now let's run the flow to see the output. And also there's no need of for each also because of we want to know what a kind of emails are coming. That's the reason I have used for each over here. But right now we are going to be working only with the attachment so that I don't require this for loop also. Flow execution has been started successfully and the flow also executed successfully. Let's go back to the attachment folder and you can see over here, whatever the documents you have attached as part of the, all the emails in my Gmail, all the mails have been retrieved and after that, all the mails have been saved successfully into the particular folder. Now let me show you the attachments which we got it side by side. Over here, if you see, I'm having this ULA clip warp is there. You can see over here. Along with that, you can see over here PDF automation, ABS bill, and after 904, some documents have been there over there. All the documents have been retrieved and saved the attachments on the particular folder by using save attachments property. In the same way, if we want to filter from two field, subject field contents, let us assume in the real time scenario, if you're going to get any kind of incident, in that time, I'm my subject having incident 8080, something like that. In that case, my subject containing incident over here. All right. So that I'm going to filter the subject contains incident over here. And then I will retrieve only the mails which I'm having incident. And then I will, if I'm having any attachments or else if I want to send any emails in that case, what I will do, I will filter the mails and then I will proceed further to process the automation. I hope you understand how to work with retrieve emails by using email filter options that we have seen from field to field. And also we have saved the attachments as part of the save attachment property. Thank you for watching Power Automate tutorials. If you have any queries related to this concept, 
please post them in the comment section. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Have a wonderful day.